So in this video, I will try to explain how to prove a statement by two different methods, exhaustion and deduction. So for example, uh, we need to prove that n square plus 2 is not divisible by 4. So at first, I will try to prove it by the method uh, exhaustion here. And then we will see how to do that using deduction. So in case of exhaustion, uh, we always try to find, uh, we always take numerical values. So suppose uh, we are taking different values of n. Since nothing is mentioned in uh, for the values of n, I'm taking 1 to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 1 to 9, for example. So for every values of n, uh, we are getting a value for n squared. So 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64 and 81. And similarly, we get the value for n square plus 2. So 3, 7, we can complete that. So in case of exhaustion, uh, it's always easier if we uh, analyze the pattern for odd and even separately. So suppose we are taking only odd values. So if n is odd, if n is odd, as you can see from the values of the table, n square is also odd, right? 1, 9, 25, 49, 81. So when n is odd, we can say n square is also odd. Okay, so if we add two odd numbers, the result is an even number. If we add odd and even, the result is always an uh, odd number. Two even number results in even number. So since n square is odd and we are adding n square plus 2, plus 2, 2 is an even number. So adding an odd and even, the result will always be an odd number. Therefore, adding plus 2, adding 2 will result in an odd number. Or you can just complete the table that will show the result that the whole thing is an odd number. Okay, so since 4 is an even number and it is a multiple of 2, and if we analyze the table, 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 16, 4 2s are 8, 4 2s are 12, so the multiples of 4 will always be even. So any odd number cannot be divisible by 4. Therefore, we can say any odd number cannot be divisible by 4. So now if we take the um, even numbers, when n is 2, result is 4, n is 4, result is 16. So as you can see, if n is even, the result 4, 16, 36, 4, 16, 36, then 64, all the numbers are multiples of 4. That is when n is even, n square is a multiple of 4. So now if um, we need to get, the, get to the next term which is divisible by 4, if we need to find that number, we need to add 4, right? So the next number will be uh, any number which is divisible by 4 will be at a difference of 4. So it will be 68, then 72. So if we add less than 4, for example, if, if we add 2, the result is 66 is not divisible by 4, right? So since we are adding n squared plus 2, adding 2 will not result in a number that will be divisible by 4. Since the numbers divisible by 4 has to be at a difference of 4, right? So n, n square plus 2 will not be divisible by 4. So by uh, taking different numerical values of n and analyzing the results, we can prove that this whole thing is not divisible by 4. So for exhaustion, always take values of n. If nothing is mentioned, we can take from 1 to 9. So we'll solve the example number one again by a different procedure, by deduction. So in case of deduction, we do not take any numerical values, okay? We will choose a variable so that it is satisfied by all values. So suppose we need to take an even number 
and we have a variable of n, for example, n. n can be even or odd. To make it even, we need to multiply a 2. That is, whatever the value of n is, it, it can be even or it can be odd, but 2n will always be an even number. Similarly, if we need to find an odd number, for any even number, an odd number, the difference is 1, right? 3, 4, 5, 6. That is, if we have an even number, if we add plus 1, you get an odd number. Suppose we have 6, an even number. We, if we add plus 1, we get an odd number. That is, adding 1 with an even number will result in an odd number. So, 2n plus 1 will always be an odd number. So, uh, suppose we take k. So, 2k, 2k plus 1. Okay. So, in this math, uh, we need to prove that n square plus 2 is not divisible by 4. So, for uh, we will analyze this uh, in, for, in case of even first. So, n square plus 2 becomes 2k whole square plus 2. We can write that if n is uh, assuming n equals to 2k and n is even then 2k whole square plus 2 becomes 4k square plus 2 so in this case whatever the value of k is 4k square is always a multiple of 4 so 4 uh, just write that inverse whatever the value of k is 4k square is a multiple of 4 that is divisible by 4 but adding a plus 2 with that term will result in something which will not be divisible by 4 like I said the difference between the terms will ha will be will, uh, will have to be 4 so 4k square plus 2 will result in something which will not be divisible by 4 so therefore 4k square plus 2 is not divisible by 4 and similarly we need to do this thing or the, do this whole thing for the odd values so if n equals to 2k plus 1 and is odd then the terms becomes n square plus 2 will become 2k plus 1 whole square plus 2 so 4k square plus 4k plus 1 that is a plus b whole square formula plus 2 so this will result in 4k square plus 4k plus 3. So this term is a multiple of 4. 4k is also a multiple of 4. So this whole uh, sum of this whole term is multiple of 4. But adding a plus 3 with this one will result in something which will not be divisible 4. So just explain this in words that whatever the value of k is this whole term is always divisible by 4 but adding a plus 3 will result in something that will not be divisible by 4 okay so in case of de uh, deduction always take a variable so you cannot take directly k because it can be an odd number or even number so always multiply 2 so that it becomes even and then plus add 1 so that it becomes odd then whatever the equation is just put your variables and simplify then analyze the final result to explain what whatever they have asked for okay so we'll uh, solve another example which says that difference we need to prove that difference between two consecutive square numbers uh, is odd square number means uh, numbers if we uh, the square root of what uh, square root of those number is a uh, whole number or integer so 1 4 9 16 25 36 all of these terms are square number so at first we will solve this using exhaustion so i'm taking different values of n suppose 1 to 6 we can take up to 9 if nothing is mentioned so for every value of n the square numbers are 1 4 9 16 25 so we have different values of n square and since we need to find the difference between these two consecutive square numbers that is difference of these two terms is 3 difference of these two is 5 difference is 7 so similarly we can find the difference for the remaining values and as you can see the difference is an odd number so exhaustion is quite easy you just put values of n on the condition and just check whether it matches or not and in case of direction like i said we will not solve the thing uh, using any numerical value 
we need to take a variable. So in this case, uh, we need to find square numbers, right? So and the numbers has to be consecutive. So if I'm taking two, the next number will be three, four. Similarly, uh, for consecutive number, we just need to add one, 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 one. So if I'm taking a value n, suppose n is a variable, the next number will be n plus one. So we cannot take the numbers directly since we have to take the square numbers. So square of n is n square and square of n plus one is n plus one whole square. So we need to find the difference between two consecutive square numbers. So the difference is n plus one whole square minus n square. So expanding this using a plus b whole square formula n square 2n plus 1 n square so this results in 2n plus 1 so as you can see whatever the value of n is 2n is always be an even number since it is a multiple of 2 and adding a plus 1 with an even number in short adding odd and even will result in uh, result in an odd number so therefore 2n plus 1 is an odd number.